Crypto Pirates Daily News. February 22, 2022. News headlines. Analysts believe that the Canadian truckers' protest will have a significant impact on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Can cryptocurrency be used to demonstrate financial independence in order to obtain travel visas? The Bitcoin Story, BTC Manchester City, an English football team, is building the Metaverse's first football stadium. Contact, a platform with 350 million users in Russia, boosts NFTs. Could Bitcoin regain all-time highs in 2022? Analysts believe that the Canadian truckers' protest will have a significant impact on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. The Canadian truckers' strike, which caused a stir locally and drew international support for demonstrators, is winding down, but not before emphasizing the financial freedom that cryptocurrencies represent. At the height of the protest, Canada's Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland issued an ultimatum to protesters, stay away from the demonstrations or risk having your bank accounts frozen without a court order. Canada's fierce stand makes the case for cryptocurrencies, permissioned money or fiat currencies can control access to food and shelter, and thus free speech, according to Loop Fund's managing partner Doug Clinton in a blog post. It is now clear that cryptos can outperform fiat currencies, while fiat currencies can be censored, cryptos cannot, according to Clinton. Against the backdrop of the Canadian truckers' protest, it is now clear that some anti-crypto narratives are false, according to the analyst. While some argue that cryptocurrency is merely a tool for drug trafficking, money laundering, and other criminal activity, it is important to remember that freedom comes at a cost. Clinton stated this. Second, those who highlight the proliferation of scams in the crypto ecosystem should remember that all emerging technologies have to deal with grifters and gamblers at first, according to the analyst. As cryptocurrency becomes more widely accepted, it will be more difficult for scammers to prey on more sophisticated users. This is yet another cost of liberty Clinton stated this. Cryptos as free speech enablers, as attacks on free speech become more common, the analyst believes crypto's advantage will become clearer. Whatever happens with fiat, I am more convinced that crypto will play an irreplaceable role as the ultimate enabler of free speech, the analyst said. Cryptocurrencies now appear to have a new use case, a safe haven when governments restrict freedom of expression. Can cryptocurrency be used to demonstrate financial independence in order to obtain travel visas? In some circumstances, a consulate may accept alternative forms of proof of assets, such as crypto assets, stated Laura Bernard of the European Commission. For foreign visitors who are still able to cross borders in the midst of a pandemic, utilizing Bitcoin to demonstrate their ability to survive overseas is a relatively new concept. While many countries have closed their borders to visitors in order to protect their citizens from COVID-19, several have continued to admit students, retirees, and those seeking medium to long-term stays through immigration. Under normal conditions, entrants are occasionally needed to produce proof of funds, both to demonstrate that they have the necessary savings to support themselves and to demonstrate that they are less likely to work illegally. The term evidence of funds or proof of funds is subjective, but is typically defined as a bank statement, a line of credit, or simply a document demonstrating an immigration officer's financial holdings. However, Several of the world's 195 recognized governments have indicated that they are open to recognizing cryptocurrencies as proof of financial sufficiency, provided that liquidity is developed. In my 15 plus years, I've never seen a consulate accept non-liquid financial papers, such as a holding portfolio, even if the account contains seven figures, said Evan James, COO of Peninsula Visa, a visa and passport processing company. 
I understand that cryptocurrency is liquid, but I believe it would need to be presented almost identically to a bank account. If an applicant want to utilize a cryptocurrency account, they would be responsible for ensuring the consulate is comfortable with its liquidity. The official website of the United Kingdom stated that Bitcoin savings was an unsuitable form of financial evidence for student visa applicants. Peninsula Visa was informed by one of the consulates of a Schengen member, which covers 26 European nations, that it would accept only fiat bank statements as proof of funds at this time. Other immigration agencies, on the other hand, indicated that there was nothing specifically barring tourists from meeting this criteria through the use of cryptography. While the use of cryptocurrencies as proof of funds is not prohibited, applicants must give verification of the quantity and ownership, said Immigration New Zealand manager Mark Piercy. Visa applicants are likely to find it easier to demonstrate funds in more traditional ways, such as bank statements or credit card balances. The European Commission's press secretary, Laura Bernard, reaffirmed that bank statements or evidence of income were required in almost all circumstances, but stressed that there was no uniform policy across all EU member nations. Because each visa application is evaluated on an individual basis, there is no one-size-fits-all criterion for demonstrating enough financial means. As a result, there may be occasions in which a consulate accepts other forms of proof of assets, such as crypto assets, if the applicant's particular circumstances and intended voyage justify it. The Bitcoin Story, BTC Today, perhaps every person on the planet is familiar with the Bitcoin Story. It arrived as a storm in 2008 and now the entire financial system is under threat as a result of it. According to reports, many businesses and artists have begun to sell their wares in exchange for bitcoins as a payment method. According to the report, nearly 17% of Americans own bitcoin. Wouldn't you be a fantastic thing? Cryptocurrencies have grown in popularity since their inception, but many people still do not consider them to be a good investment. You must understand that Bitcoin's popularity stems solely from the fact that it is an excellent store of value. Prices rise over time, allowing people to profit. Dominant forces operating in the cryptocurrency market can pose a threat to the financial system, which has been in place for a very long time. If you are unfamiliar with the story of Bitcoin, now is a good time to learn about it because the Indian government is also bullish on it. They may not support Bitcoin, but they do support crypto coins and their technology. India believes that cryptocurrencies can help any nation grow and develop. As a result, according to the budget statement 2022 to 23, it is about to launch its crypto coin. Bitcoin's creation. Bitcoin was invented in 2008 by a man named Satoshi Nakamoto. To date, it has not been determined whether the creator of Bitcoin is a single person or a group of people. Bitcoin's creator remains anonymous, and his identity has not yet been revealed. The Bitcoin author launched a Bitcoin with a white paper stating that it will be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The entire Bitcoin network is linked to Bitcoin.org, and the use of the Bitcoin network began in 2009. The first transaction was made in 2009 by a person named Halle Vinay. He was the first to use the proof-of-work system developed by the Bitcoin software, and he was also the first to download it. He received 10 Bitcoins from Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, after downloading the software. Later that year, a Polish programmer paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas from Papa John's. Bitcoins were not particularly valuable at the time, and as a result, many people accepted them as payment for pizza. As a result of this, many people became aware of this incredible crypto coin, and they began to express interest in it. Bitcoin transactions became more common, resulting in the development of various cryptocurrency trading websites. Many people became aware of this incredible crypto coin, and as a result, the cryptocurrency market evolved. Other cryptocurrencies emerged only after Bitcoin, 
and as a result, they are not as valuable as Bitcoins. Today's Price of Bitcoin When Bitcoin first appeared, its value was $0.0008, which was a pittance. Bitcoin only managed to reach a price of 80 cents during the entire year. The condition, on the other hand, was not going to last very long because people learned more about it. The value increased over time, and the cryptocurrency market expanded globally. According to reports from November 2021, the value of Bitcoin was $69,000. It is the highest price for any cryptocurrency ever, and it has elevated Bitcoin to the ranks of the world's great coins. The situation in the cryptocurrency market, on the other hand, is not always stable. Bitcoin prices began to fall after reaching their peak. Other cryptocurrencies followed suit, and their prices began to fall. Many complications have arisen in the cryptocurrency market as a result of people's fear of investing in crypto coins today. Bitcoin in the future We can never be certain about the future of Bitcoin, but we can make educated guesses. For example, El Salvador has made Bitcoin legal tender, and other countries may follow suit in the future. However, we cannot be certain about this as well. People may see Bitcoin as a threat and eventually abandon it. Manchester City, an English football team, is building the metaverse's first football stadium. For sports teams like Manchester City looking for more immersive fan engagement, the Metaverse presents an enticing prospect. Premier League club in England in collaboration with Sony, Manchester City has begun construction on the world's first Metaverse football stadium. City has partnered with Sony to allow fans to participate in every game from anywhere. The three-year project, which is still in its early stages, has seen virtual reality specialists perform an initial digital mapping of the club's stadium in order to develop a virtual reality stadium. Given that the club's Twitter has $11.6 million followers, this venture has the potential to generate enormous revenue for the club. The Etihad Stadium, home of Manchester City, will be the focal point of a virtual reality world enabled by Sony's Hawkeye tracking technology and image analysis expertise. What might the future hold? The whole point we could imagine of having a metaverse is you can recreate a game, you can watch the game live, you're part of the action in a different way through different angles, and you can fill the stadium as much as you want because it's unlimited, it's completely virtual, said City's chief marketing officer, Nuria Tarr, of the anticipated Metaverse experience. The Metaverse is best described as a virtual world with highly sophisticated visual and art experiences, a crypto-based DeFi backbone, self-governed communities, and interoperable blockchain networks. The English Premier League's seven-time champions are looking into the possibility of fans meeting players in the metaverse and purchasing products that are not available in the physical world. Cryptocurrencies will almost certainly be used to make purchases. What is the structure of the new metaverse? A virtual reality headset and hand controllers are used to interact with the virtual space in order to participate in the metaverse. Reality Labs, a division of Meta, formerly known as Facebook, aspires to be a pioneer in the metaverse. Microsoft's recent acquisition of gaming behemoth Activision Blizzard also signaling the company's interest in the metaverse. A soccer match can now be played in the virtual world in the style of a FIFA video game, thanks to recent metaverse developments. According to Andy Etches, a co-founder of Rezil, the ideal of watching live games in a stadium is not too far off. Rezil is the company behind the metaverse game Player 22 that Premier League players used to train. If the metaverse concept takes off, Premier League clubs may be able to sell direct broadcasting rights to fans via their own metaverses. 
According to Gartner Infotech, by 2026, 25% of people will spend an hour in the metaverse for entertainment purposes, among other things. Currently, Premier League broadcasts are sold as a package to television networks. The fact that the metaverse is now in the hands of large corporations or institutions does not go down well with everyone. According to an advocate group survey, 77% of 1,000 American respondents were particularly concerned about Facebook's role in the future of an immersive virtual world. Contact a platform with 350 million users in Russia, boosts NFTs. According to a recent report, Kontakt, a Russian social media network, will soon introduce non-fungible tokens, NFTs. This could have a significant impact on the cryptocurrency space, as Kontakt is one of the world's largest social networks, with over 350 million users. Because NFTs are one-of-a-kind digital assets that cannot be replicated, they are ideal for online gaming and other applications. What impact will NFTs have on the crypto space? NFTs will have a significant impact on the crypto space because they are one-of-a-kind and cannot be replicated, making them ideal for online gaming and other applications. As digital assets, NFTs will not use physical products such as coins or paper money. What does this mean for the cryptocurrency market? NFTs have an impact on online gaming and social media networks such as Kontakt due to their uniqueness, which already has an inbuilt cryptocurrency wallet. New platforms focusing solely on NFTs can be developed. What are some examples of NFT applications? Online gaming, NFTs can create one-of-a-kind in-game items that can be traded or sold. This could give online gaming a whole new dimension, as well as more immersive gaming experiences. Art and collectibles, NFTs are also capable of producing digital art and collectibles. This could be a great way to display and store digital artwork, potentially leading to new collectibles. Social media, NFTs can set up their own profiles and pages on social media platforms. This could broaden the appeal of social media and lead to the creation of new social networking platforms. With the next generation of blockchain games, such as the Sandbox, Star Atlas, and many others, on the horizon, it's clear that the NFTs and gaming sectors are set to boom or bust. The Future of NFTs in Russia's Crypto Space if NFTs become popular, some issues may arise. For example, there may be a lack of regulation surrounding them, which could lead to issues with fraud or theft. Another issue is that they have no intrinsic value, making it difficult to predict what their future will hold. They could become very popular and valuable, or they could fall out of favor and be worth nothing. What happens next? It's difficult to predict what will happen next with NFTs and the crypto space. However, it is clear that NFTs have enormous potential and are gaining traction among businesses and individuals alike. Many people who want to invest in the venture are waiting to see how things progress in the coming months and years. The Future of Cryptocurrency In other news, the cryptocurrency market has recently seen some volatility. Experts, however, believe that this is only a temporary setback and that the overall trend is positive. According to Cryptopolitan, crypto regulation has been worked on by both federal agents and the central bank. However, the Financial Secretary, Economic Secretary, Internal Incident Agency, and Digital Analysis Secretary all contributed to the new cryptographic scheme in accordance with the central entity's regulations. Bitcoin regain all-time highs in 2022. Is now the time for crypto investors to invest in Bitcoin, BTC, or remain on the sidelines, as uncertainty grips the market? Most of the top cryptocurrencies experienced extreme volatility in the previous year. Many top tokens, including Bitcoin, BTC, 
reached all-time highs but also experienced significant drops. Unfortunately, 2022 has seen more drops than rises for cryptocurrency investors. Could Bitcoin break through the $69,000 barrier and reach all-time highs this year? Is the bear market in risk equities too strong? Let us talk about it. Bitcoin continues to pique the interest of experts. Bitcoin has recently been on a roller coaster ride. However, over the last month, this top cryptocurrency has shown signs of life, surging above the $45,000 mark two weeks ago. Some recent investors may be getting antsy with Bitcoin's price action, which is now back below $40,000 per token. However, various cryptocurrency experts who take a long-term view on Bitcoin appear to be bullish on this token. A number of high-profile talking heads on the subject, from Kathy Wood to other high-profile analysts, have commented on price targets ranging from $100,000 to $1 million by 2030. Those are some bullish perspectives. The majority of this enthusiasm stems from the belief that Bitcoin could displace some of the institutional capital flows that typically flow into gold or other safe haven assets. As inflation rises, safe haven bets are expected to gain traction. Many people are wondering whether Bitcoin is a safe haven asset. Other factors that investors should consider. Aside from the comparison to gold, there are a few other considerations for investors when it comes to this top token. Because of the way Bitcoin supply is structured, there is a scarcity argument that is frequently made. There is a maximum supply of only 21 million Bitcoins in the world. As a result, increased mining costs, similar to gold or other physical assets with limited supply, contribute to the underlying value of these tokens. However, Bitcoin's increased correlation to risk assets such as equities has some investors concerned. As the stock market has recently plummeted, particularly for highly valued equities, Bitcoin has followed suit. For those looking for a market hedge, Bitcoin has not delivered the fundamentals that many expected to be prevalent recently. Finally, should investors expect another surge to all-time highs this year? On this issue, I believe the jury is still out. There is a lot of uncertainty in the market, which Bitcoin appears to be tethered to lately. That is not a good thing. However, in the long run, Bitcoin has proven to be a profitable investment. Perhaps Bitcoin bulls will continue to be rewarded. For the time being, I am staying away from Bitcoin. However, this is a top token on my watch list right now, and I'll continue to monitor it as it rises and falls in the future. After all, that's the nature of the crypto space. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto related contents.